So this is the Ritchie flat eight bale sledge. And uh, I really like it, having no problem at all. Just took a little bit of setting up because these are Welga bales. So you just have to um, just make sure that you do everything as the manual requires. So it's getting everything along here all set up properly. But after the first bale that uh, went through when it was new, it all, well, initially it all got itself a bit confused, but after that, just settled down and uh, it was good. So, I mean, I, I, I am working in a flat field here and that makes a huge difference, but um, yeah, it's, just, it's nice not to have to worry about a sledge, that it just does what it, uh, what it should do. I think they do a good job now in that they seem to galvanise most of the steel. You know, a lot of the old cook ones, they, uh, it was the paint that let them down as much as anything. Whereas these, uh, they've got the right combination of which bits are painted, which bits are galvanised. Um, it's, the, the actual connection is slightly different as well compared to what I had on the old cook's one. In that um, what it now has is a bar there, which you release the pin, the bar swings over and you put it over here for transport. And um, that seems to work okay. I always find it a little bit of a faff when you're on your own. If you're not on really smooth ground, just trying to pull the sledge up to get the, the pin in to get it connected, but that's uh, that's not a great problem. It was easy enough putting the brackets on, uh, no great problem there. Um, I tend to take this off as well, just for, for storage, but um, you know, this the, the chute. Uh, it just takes a couple of minutes to put that back on. But no, I can't, I absolutely can't fault it. Sensible money. And uh, you just feel that it's, it's built to last, certainly given the sort of work that I do. 